Beloved Guruji. Come closer. Right. <laughs> Thank you. It is said, let thy will be done. How do we best do that? And give me the uh, second one, I can... Beloved Guruji, what is it, what is it within me, which from the inside to the outside is not other thing but you? <laughs> Whatever conception you want to have, our symbol explains that. Whatever conception you're capable of having, but then rise further above it all unto the conceiver and the conception just disappears, beloved, just disappears. And then you will find true perception which is not in the normal usage of language, perception, and I say this in a different sense altogether, is not something perceived by the mind, but True perception lies in the feelings of the heart. Yes. And who says again that the heart has any feelings? Hmm? That's what everyone imagines it to be. Oh, my heart feels so much love, my heart feels so much hate, my heart feels so much shit. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. The heart in its total purity, which is the core of your self, uh, has no perception, has no feeling at all. It exists for the sake of existence itself, and existence itself will never ask the question of its very existence. So we go rambling on and on. The thoughts produced by the mind. Mm. And do you know how much that is worth? Nothing at all. because your mind will think today this way and then tomorrow the mind will think that way and the following day a different way and you will think you're conceiving, perceiving, receiving. Ah, no such thing at all. Mm. 
the idea behind it is this. Just be yourself. Just be. And experience yourself as you are according to your own personal capacity and with spiritual practices your capacity will increase and increase and increase and you will become far wide awake to yourself in finding greater awareness not of the world, to hell with it. But you'll find the greater awareness of the real self that exists within thee. And when this could really be found, you will truly find the that's for sure i promise you that the photostat some copies and i'll sign it that this is what i promise you all but if the mind for 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at night, it just, if it is just brought with the practices that have been given to you, huh? if it is just brought to that point, for that 15 minutes in the morning or 15 minutes at night, you'll find the point which is your center. Your center. It is very minute, very small. But in that minuteness uh, is the entire existence of the entire universe itself. Hmm? Well, what is this universe composed of, in any case? Huh? The atom, huh? With the protons and neutrons and chitrons and <laughs> Whatever, huh? New word for your dictionary. Because, because if you could add on to the electrons, protons, uh, and combine it in the nuclei, nucleus, uh, with Shitrons, you will find the secret of life. <laughs> I think we better send that to Yale and Harvard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Fine uh, shitrons. In your protons and neutrons and nuclei and all that. But find that shitron. That will be the greatest discovery in the world. <laughs> I 
can't remember too well. Your question was, my son? Basically, it's been answered, but... <laughs> <laughs> And you have the answer to the universe, then. <laughs> For that is the point <coughs> modern science has not even reached yet. Hmm. Protons, electrons, and blah, blah, blah. But they must reach the point of shitrons. <laughs> then they will find a new meaning. Uh, in the composition of this universe. Yes. And I tell you what will happen then. That by finding the chitron, You will reach that self-realization within yourself that this whole bloody thing <laughs> is nothing else but shit. And then you will say truly to yourself that let me discard this shit. And after discarding that, you will find yourself, your reality. That is you forever existing within yourself. Simple. Very simple. So now, to put it in a nutshell, get rid of all the shit and become yourself. Because it's all the muck up there in your brains, your minds, uh, that prevents you from really knowing yourself. When I came to South Africa, at first qualified as an, a CPA, as you would call it in this country. In South Africa, we call it a chartered accountant. Here you call it a CP... Uh -huh, right, same thing, same thing, really. And as you would all know, I mean, most of your professionals you all know how difficult it is to start up a practice. <coughs> hmm? Whatever kind of practice you want to practice, okay. <laughs> but I had to make a living while building up the practice. <laughs> so what did I do? I was a stud. <laughs> a master male prostitute. Right. 
And would you know how I used to play up one woman against another? Learn this now. No. Okay. I used to have a date, let's say with Mary, for example. Huh? That's a common name, so Mary. <laughs> Mary. Mary and Perry. Huh? Of course, I would make Mary pay for it. Huh? Yeah, that's no lie. <laughs> and then I would phone Mary and say, but an hour earlier, huh? hmm? <coughs> then the time we are supposed to go out and say, Mary, I'm so sorry, we can't go out tonight because I haven't got any decent clothes <laughs> to put on. <laughs> so next morning, hmm, or the next afternoon, there would be half a dozen beautiful suits there delivered to me. Then I would go to Flery and say, darling, you know, I'm so broke. I haven't any money. Can you spare me some? Hmm? So she would spare it. Then that money from Flurry, hmm, will go to Mary Mast, <laughs> male prostitute. Well, that is how I started off. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes people ask me my height. <laughs> and I would reply, that I am five feet six and a half inches plus seven and a half inches. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> now, if you add on five feet six and a half inches with seven and a half inches, you're damn tall. <laughs> and you can walk tall. As long as your pants don't follow you before. <laughs> a lot of jokes and things, but there, there is a lot of truth in what I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> well, these, these little stories are for my uh, biographers. <laughs> I think I managed to do that.